Hey everyone, Dominic here, bringing you another Ravening Report. This time we've got Orc and Goblins versus Dwarven Holds. This is game two of a small one day three game tournament that we had. Um, scenarios were a little bit different from what's in the book here. We'll get into that right away. Here's a quick look at my list. If you want to take a look at that, you go ahead and pause the video right now. Quick look at the deployment here. Uh, starting off, I have some Orc Boar Riders, Git Launcher, uh, two Pump Wagons up in front, uh, Great Green Idol, Git Launcher, Cave Goblins with Nets and Bows, and the two Casters. Up front, there's a unit of Iron Orcs with an Iron Orc BSB, a unit of uh, Common Orcs with extra hand weapons, my general iron orc on his chariot and over here finally is a unit of common orcs with bows as well i do have some scouts that uh, get placed out in a bit uh, for the dwarven holds he's got a unit of gray beards up here uh, they've got throwing weapons and i think they had the banner of the relentless company there uh, he's got a unit of hand gunners uh, this one is some Slayers there. He's got two Slayer characters. One in this unit here is kitted out to kill infantry, more or less, with like close to ten attacks all said and done. Um, he's got a big unit of Spears here with... Uh, he's got uh, a Rune Priest in here. I don't know, he didn't have anything. I think this is just a Thane in there. As his general. Uh, he's got a catapult, uh, steam copter, copter. Uh, he's got another big unit of slayers. This one is another slayer character there, tooled up to kill big things, monsters, things like that. Uh, and they both vanguard. This is kind of him moving up his vanguards. Uh, he's got another copter. And finally, he's got some miners that'll pop up. Uh, so I had some scouts up here, and let's see, I didn't take a, an overarching picture here. Uh, but uh, for scenarios, basically this was uh, more or less, more or less frontline clash again as a deployment. Uh, the secondary objective is kind of like breakthrough, but instead of getting just to the deployment zone, it's getting to the opponent's half of the table. Um, so, uh, as well as you can get points for secondary uh, for staying in your own half, uh, where a scoring unit in your own half is worth one, whereas a scoring unit in the enemy's half is worth three. So, it's a really odd scenario, but uh, there's also a no-scoring zone in the, the center of the table, about an eight inch diameter circle dead center so anyway uh orc and goblins took turn one and let's get to it so orc and goblins they move up here on my i'm moving up on the flank here uh trying to push this side and the infantry blocks are kind of moving up my character after seeing the not wanting to take a turn one shot from the catapult hid behind this building here Everything else kind of shimmies forward. We go into magic. Uh, we do, or try to do the, no, I think we got it off. We did the, the twisted effigy on his uh, catapult, and he used a spell destruction rune, so I lost that spell for the rest of the game. Uh, we got the evil eye off on the, or put the evil eye on the common orcs with paired weapons. And that's pretty much it. We go into shooting. We do uh, a couple shots from the git launcher. Uh, put a wound, I think two wounds on one copter here. And that's kind of what the table looks like as we go into turn two, or turn one, sorry, for Dwarven Holtz. Uh, so right up here, he's going to go ahead and charge into the pump wagon. And he's also going to declare a charge into the... Uh, Great Green Idol back here. Fails the one, makes the other one. 
Uh, the rest of his army kind of moves up, <laughs> trying to stop the advance from the flank here. Uh, the Greybeards over here are actually just hanging out behind the building. Uh, they weren't really doing much there. Uh, he does a shot, and that's pretty much it. Kills an Iron Orc. Uh, as you can see, he's also got the Hatred token on the Iron Orcs. Goes into combat, wipes out the Pump Wagon, and overruns like so. Um, yeah, that's kind of what the table looks like as we were going into turn two. Uh, so over here, I believe I called out the war cry this turn. And this was just to make a couple long charges, maybe. I can't remember if it was this turn or next, but either way. Uh, we, uh, we charge into the flank of the slayers up here. We charge into the flank of the slayers with the grotlings over here. And that was pretty much it for charges. Uh, my right flank is just moving up pretty fast. And the uh, boar riders take a, a long march to get closer to the catapult. Uh, there was one other one here. In the movement, this one did the random move and it went right into the front of the slayers. I was going to help out over here. Uh, we go into magic. Uh, we do cascading fire on these slayers up here, and we manage to burn off a few. Uh, we put the bewitching glare for battle focus on these guys. I think that one went off. And we go into shooting. Uh, shoot off one of the, uh, the copters here. Um, everybody else is fine. They're dwarves. They don't really care about panic too much. Uh, do a little bit of shooting, kill off one guy over here, and we go into combat. Um, so after the cascading fire and then the 2d6 impact hits from the pump wagon, I killed him down to just the character. Uh, he crushed the, the pump wagon, killed a few black orc or iron orcs, uh, but the iron orcs just went and, and smashed him to pieces. Uh, we tried to overrun into this slayer unit, and we missed it by an inch. <laughs> so, not even an inch, it was, but, either way, I uh, just needed, I think I needed a 9 on the overrun, and I think that's why I called out the, uh, the war cry there, just to get the, the 3d6 chance at it, uh, but either way, didn't make it in there, uh, so we fight the grotlings, he destroys them, no problem, and now I'm sitting in a bad spot, uh, so, that's what the thing is looking like as we go into turn two for uh, Dwarven Holtz. Uh, so over here, he does his bombing run over top. Uh, he did charge. These guys charged in, and the spear block charged into the flank. Bombing run. Kills off a couple guys, but I passed the panic. And... This game really progressed really fast. <laughs> um, so after that, he doesn't really have anything else. Goes into combat. He f kills all of the Iron Orcs. Um, actually, he was one shy. One shy of killing the Iron Orcs. It was just the unit champion left. And surprisingly, he, with the battle focusing on his um, slayers there, the... Unit Champion managed to do four wounds, which unfortunately let him strike back and, and kill the Unit Champion, um, meaning that I didn't get to keep my stubborn. Uh, so he elected to pursue this direction. Uh, the BSB did get away, fortunately, and he didn't make it into the, uh, into the Great Green Idol there. The Spears elected to just pivot on the spot, and they did so like that. That's what the table looks like as we go into turn three for the Orc and Goblins. Uh, so we bring in the common orcs as well as my Iron Orc General and smash right into them. Um, over here, the BSB fails to rally and runs off the table. Um, over here, we make a, a move up, get close enough to that... Uh, Catapult that it's not going to be able to shoot us. And the only other thing is we make sure the 
um, cave goblins with the the uh, the casters, as well as a great green idol is out of arc of sight of those other slayers there. Like I said, this character is tool up to fight big things. So um, we go into magic. We do cascading fire and do the blaze. Kill a few uh, few slayers here. Uh, we do some shooting into them. Kill a few more slayers. And the other git launcher manages to kill off the gyrocopter. The other one. Uh, over here we did some shots. Killed off maybe two guys of the, the graybeards here. And we go into combat. Um, kind of whiff a bit. Uh, I do think it was a complete push after everything. I didn't nearly kill enough dwarves uh, on the charge there. But one thing that was important, I killed his... He didn't issue a challenge here. Uh, so I made sure to direct attacks against his unit champion. Uh, just so that I don't get challenged out somehow. But that's what the table looks like as we go into... Uh, turn three for the Dwarven Holds. Uh, so up here, they charge, we flee, uh, we bounce to the other side of the building, and he's got nobody in, in Arc of Sight, so he's just going after it. Uh, his miners show up, and they're going to take care of that one Git Launcher. And the only other thing is the uh, Slayers reform on the spot to face the Great Green Idol, and the... Uh, handgunners over here reform on the spot to try and take some shots at those boar boys. Uh, so he goes into shooting. Uh, he does kill that git launcher. And that's pretty much it for shooting. Uh, he took the shots but didn't manage anything. We go into combat over here. And again, I think this one ended in a complete push. I'm still not killing nearly enough guys. Not managing to, uh, to push that grind there. Um. As well as my positioning with the Great Green Idol means that I'm not going to be able to charge there. I didn't quite have him at the right angle uh, and didn't see it till till magic phase, I think. So, um, yeah, we go into turn four for Orc and Goblins. We charge those Boar Boys into the catapult. They make it in, of course, and the archers fail to rally and they run 12 inches off the table. Uh, over here, I decide to try and use the Great Green Idol as chaff against this unit. Um, we also throw the Grotlings up in front in a conga line against those miners. And the uh, that's pretty much it for, for moving, running out of units already. So uh, we go into magic. We do the flaming swords for plus one to wound. On the archers, I think it goes off. Uh, we got Raven's Wing, which he let go off on this guy, and I just did it to do the sweeping attacks, which killed off a few guys. We go into the shooting, kills off a few more guys. Unfortunately, as you'll see here, it uh, it unchaffed him. So now he's got a, a flank charge on my general here. Uh, we go into this combat again. Uh, we're still fighting to a push. I mean, I'm suffering more casualties now than than he is, but that's what the table's looking like as we go into turn four, four Dwarven Holds. All right, so he's got the charge here from the Miners. He's got a charge into the flank from the uh, Slayers. Uh, he doesn't really have much of anything else, so he goes right into combat. Um... He whiffs pretty hard against those Grotlings, actually. As you can see, they're still alive with uh, quite a few wounds left that he's got to chew through. And we go over here. Um, I believe he issued a challenge. Or no, I don't think he issued a challenge. Uh, he may have. I can't quite remember. I think his Thane was going to issue a challenge there, but... No, that doesn't make any sense. Either way... Um, we go into, uh, into this fight and he, I don't even think he put a single wound on my general, actually. Um, I directed my attack sideways and killed off these guys, uh, the, just the slayers, not the character. He killed off a couple more of the, uh, common orcs and this turn we broke both units, um, 
he managed to catch both of them and ran them down. Uh, so, pretty big swing there. Uh, and that's kind of what things are looking like as we go into turn five for Orton Goblins. Um, I forgot. This one over here, I had uh, I had killed him and overran in my turn. So my turn five, these guys are actually going to come back on the table after getting rid of that uh, catapult. So we charge into the uh, flank of those spears. I thought about this for quite a while here. Um, and this was me not asking for my opponent's list. I uh, didn't know he had the hold stone, which if, he ha if, he if I knew that, I probably wouldn't have done it. Uh, but I thought... You know, maybe with uh, with enough ranks and static combat res, with very few attacks coming back, I might be able to break him there, um, or at least force the check with no reroll. So uh, we decide to go in. The Great Green Idol moves up like so, and I believe we cast Raven's Wing in the Magic Phase. Uh, we moved him. I decided to move this guy on the opposite side, so he's on the other side of these spears now. And then we did Bewitching Glare uh, to do battle focus over here as well. We go into combat, and I managed to put a wound on the miners, but they kill me off this time. And he drops his hold stone, and he sticks. Uh, I did make him at least take the check, but now he's reformed, and I've reformed to ranks as well. As you can see, I moved that great green idol over to the other side. Um, that's what the table looks like as we go into turn five for Dwarven Holt. Uh, so these guys didn't really want anything to do with the uh, Great Green Idol. They're just going to throw some throwing weapons at him. Uh, over here, my guys had come back on the table. He shot them off. Uh, the miners kind of moving up the, the flank there. They don't really do anything else for the rest of the game. And we go into um, shoot, combat. Uh, so in this one, I believe he actually manages to kill one of the wizards. He gets one of them there. Uh, but we do stick. And that's it. We go into turn six for Orton Goblins. And we go into the uh, Greybeards here. Too close for him to stand and shoot. Makes it in. We go magic. Like I said, all I've got is the one wizard left, which I think was the adept. So he's doing, I think, just the uh, Scorching Salvo, or whichever one it was. The, the Hex version one managed to kill a few guys here. Uh, but that's it. We go into combat. We kill off a couple of these guys. They stick around. And we fight this one out here in the center. And we managed to pass our break check again. But that's what the table looks like as we go to turn six for the Dwarven Holds. Uh, so right here, he charges this guy into the Git Launcher to grab those points. Uh, we fight. He suffers a couple more wounds but passes his break check. And we go over here. And I think I actually break this time. Uh, he kills off the other caster and and we break. Uh, this guy kills a git launcher. Oh no, sorry. This guy killed the git launcher. He killed the other caster, but the goblins managed to stick around. Surprisingly. <laughs> so that was all that was left at the end of the game. Um, like I said, the secondary was a weird s objective. So he does have... Uh, three or two scoring units in my half i've got nothing in his so we picks that up and it's a big 18 to 2 victory for the dwarven holds um, it was a uh, it was a good game could have been a little bit closer there but uh fun nonetheless and always good to play against some new opponents uh my opponent for this game actually made the, the drive in from uh from edmonton there to come and come play in this one day tournament with us so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the battles. Stay tuned for the next one.